Turks and Caicos is a small island nation located in the Caribbean Sea. The history of this archipelago is a rich tapestry of indigenous cultures, European colonization, and economic development. The earliest known inhabitants of the Turks and Caicos were the Lucayan people, a tribe of Taino and Arawak indigenous peoples. They arrived on the islands around 600 AD, and lived in harmony with the natural environment, fishing, farming, and trading with other tribes. They called the islands Laku Keri, meaning keys of the string of beads in reference to the shallow waters and coral reefs surrounding the islands. In the late 15th century, the Lucayans were discovered by European explorers, specifically the Spanish. They enslaved the indigenous population, forcing them to work in gold mines and on sugar plantations. Due to this exploitation and European diseases, the Lucayan population dwindled and by the early 17th century, they were extinct. In the 17th century, the Turks and Caicos came under the control of the British. They were used primarily as a base for piracy and privateering operations, as well as a stopping point for ships en route to other destinations. The islands were also used for the salt trade, as the islands had large salt pans that were worked by enslaved Africans brought over from the mainland colonies. During the American Revolution, the islands became a refuge for loyalists fleeing the colonies. After the war, many of these loyalists and their descendants, known as belongers, remained on the islands and established the first permanent settlements. In the 19th century, the economy of the Turks and Caicos began to shift towards cotton cultivation, which was labor-intensive and relied heavily on the use of enslaved Africans. This led to a significant increase in the number of enslaved people on the islands, and a corresponding decline in the population of white settlers. In 1834, the British Empire abolished slavery, and the island's economy shifted towards fishing and sponge diving. These industries provided a livelihood for many of the former slaves and their descendants, as well as for a growing number of immigrants from the Bahamas and other nearby islands. In the 20th century, tourism began to emerge as a major industry in the Turks and Caicos. The first hotel was built in the 1950s, and since then the tourism industry has grown steadily. The island's natural beauty, clear turquoise waters, and white sandy beaches, combined with its proximity to the United States and Canada, have made it a popular destination for tourists seeking a tropical paradise. In the late 20th century, the government of the Turks and Caicos began to focus on developing the island's infrastructure and diversifying its economy. This included the construction of airports, ports, and roads, as well as the development of industries such as real estate and financial services. Despite these efforts, the economy of the Turks and Caicos has faced challenges in recent years. The global recession of 2008 had a significant impact on the island's real estate market, and the government has struggled to address issues of corruption and financial mismanagement. In 2009, the British government suspended the Turks and Caicos autonomy and imposed direct rule, citing concerns about corruption and financial mismanagement. A commission of inquiry was established to investigate these issues, and a number of government officials were arrested and charged with corruption. Despite these challenges, the Turks and Caicos remains a popular destination for tourists, and the government continues to work towards building a sustainable and diversified economy. The island's history has been shaped by a diverse range of cultures, and the unique blend of Caribbean and Bahamian heritage continues to be a major draw for visitors. The natural beauty of the islands, along with its rich history and culture, make it a unique and fascinating destination to explore. Thank you for watching BSH. Please like, share, and subscribe. Join us next time as we journey through another very short history.